Uh, greetings, KL7L. Bit of progress update here. Been working on the uh, MAG 106 and the installation of the NA4RR hex beam and uh, the low frequency, medium frequency antennas. And good progress. The uh, antennas mounted on the tenor mast um, cage. Uh, the Yesu 450A is inside there, the cage and the control cables. And you can see the scaffold clamps and the supports to uh, and the cross members. And this goes out to uh, the support system here, which is very heavy duty. A tri um, welded box and round system, typical uh, of what you get on uh, like cows and cellular sites for mounting 120 degree antenna systems. And on the far side here, we have the uh, atypical or typical insulator and pulley system, which is going to pull up the Marconi antenna. Just a single insulator at the moment, but we may go to two depending on the voltages. It is absolutely peeing down with snow here. Um, lubricated all the rollers on the tower, new hardware, new guy ropes, uh, new uh, pulley systems. And I'm just at the moment going to renew the, uh, the bolts on this system here, these galvanized bolts. I can see a bit of rust on the washers and there's a, a washer missing. Um, apart from that, it's uh, looking good and uh, we'll uh, see how it goes. But at the moment, uh, it's absolutely bucking it down with whatever this is. Good progress. Uh, oh, hang on, I didn't uh, tell you about the uh, the push-up mast, did I? It made it okay. We got the uh, we got this down without damaging it, and we're reusing most of the uh, the uh, hardware. Um, I managed to get a stub mast. I think you can see up there, and the how the um, the hex beam mounts has got like a post with a hole in it, and this is an inch and three eighths. Uh, fitting and I got that from Home Depot it's a top rail for a, a fence and then that uh, is an interference fit into these military style nearly two inch diameter aluminium poles and again they're bolted off into the uh, the thrust bearing this is a bit small this thrust bearing and I've got to say that uh, tenor masks don't supply the thrust bearing only the holes to mount the thrust bearing you tell them what they want, and the same for the rotator, the 450 and the GS065, I believe. Um, can, the magpies are complaining. Um, anyway, the, the mast made it down fine, and uh, it's, uh, it's sitting over here. Excuse the mess. And um, just want to show the condition of it very little rust so this is the roan i believe not the easy up and uh, it survived very well all the hardware is pretty good uh, the hole this is the hole that the hex beam sat in and you can see there's a bit of bit of movement there and the reason is this is actually a tiny bit small to fit into that coupling on the hex beam and there was a bit of movement now uh, the new one so this is less than inch and three eighths, but everything else is uh, in pretty good nick. Yeah. Overall, for how many years of Alaskan winters, and uh, we'll probably repurpose this. Um, so anyway, seven threes from a very uh, snowy Alaska. Kale seven L.